Hello Fratala was and welcome back to Mr. and Fratwell plays Minecraft and we're here again today and I've just popped into the nether here and what we're going to do today at least for the start of the episode is we're going to continue on a little bit with the gold farm now if you remember last episode we built the gold farm completely and this episode we are going to add the item filter to the gold farm. Now I have already started working on this because this project I kind of foresaw as being a little bit difficult to record and it turned out that way. <laughs> There's a lot of slab building over huge drops and so on and so forth which made it quite difficult to actually build. So I'm sort of in the last echelons of building it now, but we will take a look at what I've done before I seal it all off and kind of wrap up this area and complete the gold farm. And I have also been AFKing at it, and the rates are really, really good. I'm really happy with the rates that this has given me. Just had to uh, slightly adjust the mic there, I apologize if there was any sort of ruffling noise. So, this is where we were before. This is where the old little platform used to be that's since gone you can see this is what we had before now we have this thing right here to explore so let's go take a look now this is just a standard item filter though you will see that there is this rather odd looking thing in the middle here and I'll explain what that is in a minute so basically what's happening here is the loot is going into the chest as we had last episode these meet in the middle as you can see that hopper right there then it goes down a hopper chain and this is where the filter is this is gold nuggets that is gas tears magma cream and junk um, so yeah I just I don't know why I paused there <laughs> there was no need um, and this one right here is rotten flesh now it looks a little odd and you could hear this clicking sound so what this is in a moment at least it will be is there's going to be a lava bucket in there which is going to destroy the rotten flesh. I have no use for it. I have a zombie spawner and pretty soon I'll have a dark room so I won't need rotten flesh out of this thing as well. So I'm just going to dispose of it. We have a simple dropper dispenser there to get rid of the zombie flesh. So we've got gold nuggets and there's nothing in here yet. A gas or magma cube hasn't been killed in the farm. Also anything else that I toss in there should end up here as well so any sort of other random garbage that happens to somehow get in the farm for example if I was up there working on it and I died somehow uh, all of that would be delivered into that chest as well so let's actually go and test that theory um, I've tested it a little bit but I've not tested it all so it might be quite useful to actually mess around with that a little bit so let's just start by I don't know put in a little bit of cobblestone in there and see where that turns up and while we do that I would like to kind of figure out what it is I need to do in relation to this, uh, this bucket here and, and so on and so forth. Where did that end up? It didn't end up in there, so we have an issue. Does it end up in here? Oh, I didn't pick it up again. Did it end up in this one? Where did that end up? That's rotten flesh there. So it couldn't have entered that. Is it stuck somewhere? Stuck in there. I wonder why that is. Because it shouldn't be. Oh, I bet I know why. It's because this here is a... Yeah, we don't need this. Um, it would work if that wasn't there. This is all the junk that... Uh, like my torches that I knocked in there earlier are still in there. We don't need this for this one because we're not filtering anything. It's just whatever's left goes in there so I'm gonna actually have to tear this little bit down here because we don't need it I can save some resources um, so this is what the item filter looks like uh, it's kinda got half slabs on it now so it's pretty difficult to tell but I guess as we're tearing this one down we can take a look so behind this hopper and this is very important the hopper is not facing into this one the hopper is facing away um, we have a comparator here to detect items in there and two redstone dust here. Below this redstone dust is a repeater, you can kind of see it there. And then there is a block in front with a torch on it, and that keeps this hopper locked, preventing these rotten flesh here from going through, for example. But when one more enters the system, then it 
powers this repeater and turns the torch off and lets it through for a moment. So that's how it works. It's very, very simple. Um, it's quite a common design. I'm pretty sure that it's been done before. And I didn't record this for another reason because I actually built an item filter and we recorded it uh, back at the cave spider farm. So it makes no sense to record it again. Well, let's get rid of all this because we don't need that anymore. So now we've got that fixed up here. All the miscellaneous junk should end up in there. Um, let me patch this up because I'm just picking up all the rotten flesh here. And I'm going to now fix up this lava bucket here. I'm not really sure how I want to do this because I may end up with a spill if I'm not careful. So why don't we do this? There's a, there's a hopper there. Okay, so that's good. I just don't want it to spill out everywhere or all over myself. So if I put that there, then put that there, I should be able to take these away. Yep, there we go. Cool, so that should all get burned up now if there's any more zombie flesh that enters the system. Okay, so let's get back up here again a moment. And I'm going to try the cobblestone again, make sure that we're not going to lose anything valuable. Should be making its way down the chain here, it is. Which is good. I heard some zombie pigmen die as well, so we'll be able to test, see if the lava bucket is working. Sounds like it is. Okay, yeah, my cobblestone ended up there. So that's good. We have this fully working item filter now, all ready to go. Everything's slabbed off. I have been looking around at some of the gold farms problems just to see if there are any. I've noticed that there is one or two spots that pigmen are spawning inside the collection area. So I would like to check that one out really quickly, see if I can spot it. That's why I have some snow with me. There's been very few and they've been dying on the cactus, so I'm not sure if it's that they have been spawning here. Um, oh, it might be the chicken jockeys. That may well be what it is. Um, I didn't think about those. I think pretty much every time it's been a baby pig man that has ended up surviving, so that's probably what it is. I'm not seeing any slots without snow, which is what I thought might be the problem. Doesn't look like it though. So that's good. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished gold farm. Now all we're going to do is actually add a sort of tube from the ladder well and sort of finish off the ladder well to complete the farm as a whole. That's about it. There we go. Just tear this down. Ooh, that chicken died apparently. So any chicken loot will end up in the junk chest, which is kind of what I want to be honest. Which is fine. There we go, pick that up. So now what I want to do is tear a bunch of this down. Not the hoppers though, I don't want to mess this up. And we need to get a collection room in place next, which is what I'm going to do now. So, as you can see, I have a lot of gold now. I have basically quadrupled the amount of gold that I had uh, prior to this build. I had a, a stack of seven gold blocks. As you can see now, I have almost four stacks of gold blocks. And I built that on the last Saturday. So what was that? That was the 10th. We're now on Tuesday the 13th. So, only three, four days ago, and I'm getting tons and tons of gold. In fact, I want to take that with me. Okay, so let's head back down here. Still need to finish up that ladder. Generally, this is now finished. There's a couple of little bits and pieces that I haven't done, but I'll just do off camera, so just fix up that ladder. I might put a light up there as it's a bit dark. Uh, down here, I want to add some redstone lamps in, as I don't really like the torches here. But as you can see, I've finished this room. We've got a crafting table and an ender chest. Crafting table for all the making of the blocks of gold and gold ingots. Uh, golden nuggets are being sorted here. Any miscellaneous stuff in there. So that's all looking good. Um, just need some redstone lamps in here. And then we'll be good to go there. And I also want to add some stone bricks to the walls and the front of this. So that we are enclosed. And then at that point, the gold farm will be 100% done. It basically is now. It's just little bits and pieces. I'm going to take this back to the overworld along with all this other random junk that I have took with me here. Let me get rid of that flesh. So, 
I think now what I would like to do is actually spend some time on another project, seeing as we've got some time today. And I think what I would like to do is spend some time on our storage system. So uh, let me just put this stuff away and then we'll get started on that now. Okay, so I've been working on Tia for quite a while now and some progress has definitely been made. And I came back up here to the cabin to drop some stuff off and also to pick some other stuff up. As you can see, I've got some various random items on me. And I just thought we'd also kind of take a look together and see what's left uh, to kind of bring down with us. So we have all of this sort of clay, stained glass, glass, glass panes. I actually want those. So stained glass, stained clay, wool, all that kind of stuff. Food items in there. This is all my dye stuff. Um, let me just move some of these items. That kind of belongs in there. Carpets. Signs and saplings. Sort of redstone -y and rail bits. Uh, tools, equipment, potions. That kind of thing in there. All my ores and resources. Sort of raw materials in there. Is there anything in these? No, nothing in those. Almost broken anvil and ender chest. All my mob loot, plant growable type stuff, uh, more potions, I guess we could move those actually while we're up here, name tags, iron bars, an enchanted book, leads, uh, clay, hmm, so I'm looking mainly for blocks more than anything else, and it looks to me like apart from the sort of stained stuff, we have most blocks. Now, there are some random ones that we can craft, and we'll talk about this here in a minute. Um, so that looks good. I don't think we need any of this other junk, to be honest, for right now. So I'm going to head back over to the lab here, and I'm going to pass the night for one so I don't have monster racket. But after that, then we'll talk about what I've done. We'll take a look around the, the storage room, and we'll also talk about the remaining blocks a little bit as well. So... I guess we can be talking a little bit now about these blocks that are left. So, in this game, there's a, a lot of blocks that you use a lot. Dirt, you know, glass, sand, gravel, cobblestone, stuff like that. But there are also things that are classified as blocks, but you don't get a lot of. Enchanting tables is, is a good one. Brewing stands, uh, furnaces, crafting tables. All that kind of stuff you don't get a lot of. By the way, this is my uh, nether area. So what I'm going to do is, on the second floor, there's going to be all the stained stuff, which is why I've not brought that with me right now. So stained glass, stained clay, wool, coloured wool, uh, all that kind of stuff is probably going to be on the second floor here. Anything in these? Not really. Uh, but then there are those items that, you know, you don't get a lot of. And some of them I have got chests for because they are useful. For example, over here, TNT, ice, obsidian. But I'm not going to create double chests for enchanting tables and stuff like that because I'm never going to have more than a couple of them. So it just makes sense to sort of group all of those items together into one double chest, which is just be like my miscellaneous chest uh, at the end, which is what I will have. Now, I do still have one or two blocks that we've not homed yet, which are fairly common. But we have a little bit of a problem, because even when I put all of these away, we're still going to have quite a few gaps in terms of storage space. So we have this one over here we've not used, and that one over here. Now, the remaining miscellaneous blocks that I'm going to allocate a chest, I actually have wrote down here, a bookshelf, snow, snow layers... Uh, glass and glass panes and that is about it um, pod sol is over there that's the missing one we haven't found that yet and that one over there is red sand so we have a lot of random sort of miscellaneous blocks I might allocate iron bars their own chest even though I don't get a lot of them um, we have a chest for regular clay so I'm not really sure what to do now the reason I'm not going to put the stained stuff here I don't think is because if you look at all of these they are seven wide and generally speaking when we're talking about stained stuff in this game there are 16 different colors to choose from now with wool there is 16 with hardened clay there is 17 if we count the actual hardened clay which I put there 
And with glass, it's 17. I'm going to keep glass separate, probably up here. But I can only get 14 here, so we're going to have two that aren't going to be grouped. So I don't want to do that like this. So I'm not sure now what I'm going to do with the rest of this space, because I'm not just going to leave it blank. That would be a complete waste of an area. And I don't think I would want to put something there, like a brew-in situation or, or whatever. I don't think that that would be too useful in this situation, because we're looking at, at common blocks and items. I have stairs and slabs and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to think a little bit about that one off camera and work out exactly what it is I need to do because I'm going to have 14 slots there, 14 slots there, and something here. Um, now if there's one or two here that are empty, I could probably fill it up with something that I'm not going to get a lot of just to fill it up. But I'm not going to have two entire sections just stood empty really or I never ever use. These over here, if you were wondering, we've got stone bricks, stairs, slabs. We're going to have mossy, cracked, chiseled, and we'll probably have a spare one. I don't think there's another type of stone brick. Um, I could be wrong about that, though. There may be a new one added at some point. That one right there, as we've said, is red sand. And that one there is going to be pod sol. We've got dirt, grass, mycelium so far. So, I guess while we're in here, we can talk about what each of these are in a bit more detail. So this is all dirt, gravel, and clay-based items. So generally stuff you dig with the shovel, with the exception of a hardened clay block there. This is all stone-related products. So we're looking at cobblestone, their stairs, slabs, and wall variants. Smooth stone is here, smooth stone slabs, and mossy cobblestone. This is all my stone brick products as we've discussed. This is sand and sandstone up here and all their different variants, slabs and stairs. Nether quartz, quite a common one that I use. Um, and we've got the nether quartz item here. As generally I'm crafting more of these blocks than I am comparators. So I kind of classify that as an ingredient for this stuff. And the ore there. This is all nether based items. So nether rack, glowstone, soul sand and the nether brick stuff is over here. And over here we kind of have miscellaneous stuff right now. We have bricks, obsidian, TNT, ice, packed ice. Uh, these are all stairs and there's a door in the middle there. Uh, slabs and a trap door. Planks, fences and the wood, the raw wood block and chests. So that's kind of what we've got so far. My plan with this is to probably have the second floor allocated to dyed equipment, uh, so stained clay, wool, uh, stained glass, stained glass panes, all that good stuff is probably going to go down there. And then beyond that, on the third floor, we will have useful items, and this is items that we come across a lot. So baked potatoes, for example, anything that's sort of farmed, leather, uh, dyes, that kind of stuff. And then down on the fourth floor will be stuff that I barely ever touch. So stuff like Eyes of Ender and stuff like that will go down there. And in addition to that, there will also, I think, be a bit on the side, which is going to be the bulk storage area, which will probably be over here, more towards my branch mine. Uh, and down there will just be all my bulk storage for all my cobblestone that I keep picking up. There'll be a huge auto smeltery down there and all that kind of stuff along with a hook up to the branch mine so that I can get direct access to that without having to go to the surface and go the long way around. So that's kind of the plan at the moment with all of this. Uh, there's obviously an ender chest missing there but I'm not sure. We have 28 slots here um, but we would only be able to get one type of stained equipment in here if that makes sense. The one I'm thinking more than anything would be the glass because I could have the glass panes underneath. I was thinking if I was going to build this on the second floor I would have for example the stained glass icon that would be stained glass and then that would be the panes. So I'm not sure at the moment what I want to do with this because I'm not going to make chests that just have nothing in them and they're just purely there for looks. I could at a last resort, I guess, to sort of make chests and just have empty item frames up and kind of wait until new blocks were added in later editions. But as I say, I don't, I don't really want to do that. I want to have something which is useful to me uh, at all times. So 
that's probably going to be the thing that I'm going to do more than likely. All of this kind of stuff I'm going to classify with redstone and redstone goes probably on the third floor uh, where all the ores and the actual redstone will be because you don't get a ton of that stuff. I can't see myself getting a double chest of redstone lamps so there's no point me having it. Generally with the exception of stuff like quartz and nether brick I get double chests of this stuff. You know, dirt and its related products, gravel, cobblestone and its variants, wood. Uh, some of these I don't know, but <laughs> none of these really. Maybe ice, uh, because I have the ice farm now, but even so. And, and some of this, stuff like netherrack I get a lot of. I've gone through a lot of quartz, sandstone, stone bricks, you know. These are quote-unquote common items. That's the theme I went with. And for the most part, it is common items. Then we kind of have miscellaneous stuff that's left on the side. Um, but I don't know. I may just leave these empty for the time being, or I may try and integrate something in there. It would be very, very difficult to make it flow well, trying to put something here that doesn't belong here. And I may be forgetting something. I've tried to look as much as I can at uh, an item list and try to pull off items that I think will be useful. And if you have any suggestions or if you know of anything that I am missing, then let me know. Stuff like melon blocks and pumpkins, they're going to go with farm stuff. So, also, if you're going to suggest something, think about where it comes from. Stuff like ender chests, I'm not going to have a double chest. Think if you, if you have a world, do you get lots of it? You know, not just like under a stack. If it's under a stack of any said thing then the chances are it probably doesn't belong on this floor but if you get more than a stack of that item then it probably does belong on this floor that's probably what I would suggest um, I mean you can get a stack of these things and a stack of furnaces but they don't really belong here to be honest I may sort of have like a, a toolbox somewhere one of them which has all of this kind of stuff in it um, and there will be probably one on this floor filled with stuff like this uh, and spur enchanting tables if I have any uh, brewing stands all that kind of stuff there might be a chest for somewhere here but that's just one to think about I guess so sort of moving on we can talk before we end off the episode here about the floor I've completely gutted that out which is why the furnaces and the chests and so on and so forth are floating right now I put the slabs around I haven't made my mind up with what I want to do with the floor yet so I will wait on that for a little bit. Again, if you have any suggestions like I talked about earlier in the video, then let me know. We've still got this giant monstrosity, the cactus farm, yet to tear down. I'm kind of keeping it for right now, just in case I happen to stumble into a huge need for cactus. So I'll eventually get rid of it, though, probably once the rest of this is done. Probably at the same time I do the floor, I'll get rid of that, and then we'll call this room complete here. I don't think that if we look at this half, because that half's kind of unfinished, if we look at this and exclude the furnaces and the chests and so on and so forth, I think this looks as complex as I want it to be. I don't want it to go over the top. I was thinking about integrating some glass or something, but I think that this is really where we want to be at right now. So I don't think I'll be adding too much more. This was a very bland area. We don't necessarily need to put something there. There really isn't any room there. So I think we're in pretty good shape at this point for the actual room. So off camera, between this and the next episode, I'm going to be kind of thinking over what I want to do with the rest of the storage room on this floor. Next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I know I said I would do that challenge, and that is definitely something that I want to take up. I'm not sure if it will be next episode. Uh, we may go and work on some other projects that I've got in mind uh, all over the base. I don't think we'll be working on this again, although I may just kind of kick the episode off by showing off what I've actually done uh, in here, though, before we get into the main project. But I have some ideas of stuff that I want to do, and that might be cool to do next episode. But uh, if not, then we'll probably be doing that survival challenge I talked about, trying to get the enchanting table. Uh, which we will do next, but we'll just have to see. As for this, I haven't touched this. We may look at that next episode, uh, at the start of the episode as well, if I've done anything with the staircases. But that's probably not going to have happened, to be honest. So, 
I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I think we're running on a little bit long now, so I want to wrap it up here. Uh, we've worked on the gold farm, finished that off pretty much. Um, I will look over, uh, no promises, but there may be a world download this episode. Uh, if not, it will probably be next episode once I've finished up this stuff. That may be more likely the case, but I do want to release one of those soon. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. As I say, before I head off, um, we did the gold farm item filter. Then we did a bunch of work in here. Got it looking more complete now. Looks a little better than when we started. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys, and I hope to see you next time. So until then, see you later. <laughs>